If the Mississippi and Illinois rivers were shut down in the vicinity of St. Louis, truck traffic would double, traffic delays would increase fivefold, and injuries and fatalities would increase from 36 to 45% on interstate highways. It's a scenario Bill Cross finds harder to avoid as the LaGrange lock ages. Two winters ago, we shut this lock down for less than 48 hours. We had 45 toes sitting here waiting, and that's not counting the barges. So you would have 450 men approximately on them toes and all that commodity. And you could possibly take $250,000 per hour times 46 to know the cost, the impact to the shipping industry. That's, that's what makes them nervous. These boats back up quick when, when a lock breaks down. Craig Hess says the effects will be felt upstream as well. The cities north of here, and especially Chicago, uh, where would they get uh, their petroleum? Where would they get uh, their chemicals that all these manufacturers need? Uh, the cost and the delay of moving it to rail or to truck as an alternate form of transportation would, would greatly increase everyone's cost. Every consumer would pay for this lock being shut down. And according to Bill Cross, the economic impact goes beyond just shipping. If we couldn't hold water when we needed to, there's intakes to power plants. There's in-city water systems. Um, the farther north you get up a river, the more the impact there is. There's more cities and there's more cooling stations, you know. So uh, and I've seen studies on that, but this lock here would be the, the biggest concern would be pump stations and power plants, cooling systems.